Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can animate this little uh, ice cream truck or any vehicle for that matter. Um, so let's head on over to After Effects where I created this um, design. I created it in Illustrator. Um, and it's an ice cream truck because it has all these different elements which we can uh, animate individually. So we have the shadow, the exhaust pipe, uh, the, the body itself, the ice cream on top, the horn, left wheel, right wheel, and our door handle for that extra little extra detail. And so we're going to, first we're going to parent everything to the car body. The door handle, the wheels, the horn, the ice cream, and the exhaust pipe, not the shadow. Uh, and parent that to the body, so when I move the body everything follows it. And we're going to animate this only using expressions. And there's only one expression, the wiggle expression, which I showed you in a, in a previous uh, tutorial. But we're going to use it in a different way here. Um, so let's first start off with the, the car body. I wanted to kind of bounce up and down a bit like it's driving uh, on a bumpy road. Uh, so first let's put that anchor point right here. So we're going to do the pan behind tool. and drag it over here so now my anchor point is right there so when i uh, press w or hit the ro go to rotate and rotate around you can see that this is now the car's anchor point which is great so i'm going to uh, open this up by pressing p for the position and we're gonna right click on position and separate the dimensions and what this will do is it will separate the x position and the Y position because we only want to add a wiggle effect to the Y position because it only needs to wiggle up and down and not to the left and to the right. Um, so for the Y position, uh, then press Option or Alt on your keyboard and click on the stopwatch to add an, to open the expressions box. And here we're going to type wiggle, open parentheses, and then we're going to type in some values. Um, and for this one, I'm going to Go five and five maybe. And you can see it bouncing up and down. And maybe that's a bit too much. So just to show you when I type in 20 here, then it's gonna go way too much up and down. So the first one is how many times the wiggle happens. And this is uh, how many, I know, I, I don't know, pixels or something, how many it moves. So if I bump this really high up, then it moves uh, way too much. But if I just give it like, what about that five? Like it must make it three. And it just has a little, little regular bounce. And if I put this five at 20, then it like goes, it like it's, it goes berserk. Um, so let's put it at five. That's good. All right. Great, but what I also want to do is uh, animate the rotation a little bit. So we're going to open, uh, press R on a keyboard to open the rotation. And again, hold to option and click the stopwatch to add a wiggle expression. Wiggle, open parentheses, go, um, let's do it again, five and five to see how that looks. Okay, that's way too much. So maybe make this one. Yeah, maybe make this four because it's a bit too much. Yeah, it's a bumpy road, so it's okay. Yeah, let's leave it at that for now. Okay, uh, that's done. Then what I also want to do is that it needs to, uh, it also needs to rotate from this point. So we're going to do that by adding a null layer. So we're going to layer, layer, new, uh, null object. And I'm going to call this, um, car uh, car rotation rotation front okay and then we're going to parent the car now first we're going to move this um, to let's zoom in here move this to about where the car is horizontal and to this point kind of middle of the wheel and then we're going to parent the car body to that null object so now if i move the null object the car will move along so we're going to also add an expression a wiggle expression to that rotation so that means that the car will rotate from this point and from this point uh, so open r 
uh, stopwatch wiggle and let's just give it the same as uh, this one that's for comma one All right, so it just just imagine a bumpy road where this is uh, driving over. Okay, cool. Um, then we're going to animate the different uh, the individual elements. So this ice cream thing, um, I'm gonna put going to the pen behind tool and put the anchor point right here. So when it bounces around, it's kind of bounces like this, like it's maybe it's a bit loose here or something. So I'm going to go to rotation. Let's reset that zero. Uh, also add a wiggle, wiggle, or maybe mm, three and three. Is that all right? Just trying, just trying, trying some stuff, trying some uh, values, and see what happens. Maybe one is enough, not too much. Can't really see it there. Maybe two then. Yeah, that's great. It's important. I don't give. I'm not giving everything the exact same values because then it looks doesn't look real enough. This it needs to look random. Let's go to the horn, and I'm gonna put my anchor point uh, like here, so it gonna you can rotate from that point. It can bounce from that point, and I'm gonna ex again open rotation and add a wiggle and make that three and five. Can move a bit more. Mm, even a bit more. Zoom out, get a full picture. Yeah, cool. Nice. Then we have the door handle. Zoom in on that. And we're going to place that point anchor point right there. And also open rotation at a wiggle. And that's, let's try 5.5. I think that's great. It's a bit much maybe, but otherwise it doesn't show up, I think. Yeah, can be a bit exaggerated. Cool. And then the exhaust pipe. Uh, let's go there and put it here so we can kind of bounce up and down a bit. And again, the same thing, wiggle, um, uh, what should we do with this, 5.5, let's try that, what's that, oh, mm, maybe not so much, 3.5. Okay, yeah, that looks fine. Cool. Okay, nice. So now we're going to do the wheels. And let's first off, also, um, let's give them a spin first. So what I can do is rotate it and um, let's put a keyframe here and then I can I go to here and I can go to 20, both of them like in 10 seconds. And then they spin around way too fast. So let's put that here. That's too slow. Yeah, something like that, maybe a bit faster. Cool. But what I can also do is delete this and I can use motion. Um, for those of you who own this, uh, you can just select this and then go to spin and it will automatically spin it around for you without any keyframes. And you can, let's say I can increase this to maybe this to 10 and then you can see then it goes really fast we don't want that so that's a really easy way to make those wheels spin but we're also going to add some um, bounds to them and we're going to open the position and again for this separate those dimensions because we only want it to bounce up and down separate dimensions and x position and i'm going to go wiggle oh wiggle um this can bounce a bit more, I think. Let's try 10 and 10. Maybe a bit extreme. That's way too extreme. 5 and 5. Let's try a little bit more. Maybe 7. Mm, 
let's try that. It looks about right. Put it on this one. Copy this, and then uh, press Option and click on the stopwatch and Command V to paste it. That's a bit too much for my taste. Maybe 7.5. Yeah, it's a bumpy road. Keep in mind. So cool. Yeah, this looks great. Very nice. Okay, cool. So uh, there you have it, a really easy and simple and quick way to animate uh, a kind of a moving, bouncing car without too many uh, keyframes, with basically only expressions, with only one expression, a wiggle expression. Um, this doesn't look realistic enough yet because there's no background or anything moving, which uh, zooms by so that you can actually see the car moving through a landscape or something, which makes it a, uh, a lot more realistic. Um, we're going to do that in the next video, so check that out if you want to see how to create the whole, the whole, the whole scene with uh, the background moving like a parallax effect. Uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Bye-bye.